And uh, no surprise, the city's fire code says you need a permit for any open flame device. And a shady career found out those who work and live nearby say this crossed the line. It was dumb and disrespectful at the same time in my 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 head. Yeah, Gabriel Schaefer had just gone back inside from watching crew de vue when he says he saw the bright light from this flamethrower out of his back window. Uh, Cause this is actually right across the street from my gallery too. Cause I live above my gallery. The gallery owner who posted the video to Instagram, he says he wishes he would have gone over to tell them to stop, but he froze in disbelief of what he was witnessing. There was a lot of obvious flaws in the logic that was happening there, let alone the you know disrespect to the block. It doesn't land well with me at all. Angie Bolden is a part of the Neighborhood Association of French Quarter Citizens. She says the delicate nature of the historic buildings leaves them very vulnerable to fires. And if you catch something on fire, there is a very good chance that it's not just going to be that something. You're going to take down an entire block or maybe even the entire French Quarter. You can see by the singed leaves of this fern where the flames touched just how close they got to a catastrophic accident. And judging by Mayor Cantrell's reaction when we told her what happened, this is something the city will be taking seriously. It's the last place they need to do that. <laughs> For sure, last place. Chief, come on up. At the time of Monday's Mardi Gras safety meeting, neither she nor Fire Chief Roman Nelson knew anything about what happened. He too acknowledging the dangers. Definitely on a balcony in the French Quarter is just not a good idea and probably illegal, I, I, I would think. But we will look into that. Thank you. The combination of potential illegality and danger is why Schaefer says he wants those responsible to be held accountable. He says he understands people's need to release, but not in this way, not in this town, and not right now, considering everything else New Orleans is going through. I think all of us want to see this city healthy and happy and sustainable and successful again. So I think, you know, it's, what's that uh, don't push us because we're close to the edge? We're all trying not to lose our heads. J.D. Career, Eyewitness News.